because some of you might know that it is 150 years since the Battle of Magdala. And one of the most famous stories of this battle is how Prince Alamayo, the son of Emperor Tedros, was abducted by the British, they might say rescued, um, and brought to the UK to live. So this chat show is to discuss this chat show is to discuss uh, what identity means, what it means to move away from the country you are born or from the country that your parents come from. And we're going to touch on three main topics: how we form our identity, what your identity means to you and what links our identity with our aspirations. So let's see how it is. And I'm going to go to the gym. And I'm going to go to University of Tamarahan. Let's go to the university. So let's see how it is. I'm going to go to the university. I'm going to go to the university. Okay. I'm a second alley. I came with a I didn't stay in Melia and Lonegar. I ይሄ <laughs> Gold to to meet any other side, but I'm not now. So let's see. Any bad that could be said, universities could have addressed when they're busy. Many of you must know. I mean, I'm asking you, many of you, but make no effort now. So let's see. If I didn't see me, but I'm not taking you to be busy. Man, no, case no, me, but yeah, you don't see me at all. So let's see. Start to take it. I will case no, man, no, I will start to take it. I will kabule, I will start to take it. Kabule, I will start to take it. Many of you, many of you, many of you, that's the first stage. We must know, man, no. ሁለተኛው ሌቭል በየ ደግሞ ማስባው ዩኒቨርሲቲ ከገባው በኋላ ከሌላ ክፍለ ሀገር የመጡ ብዙ ተማሪዎች ጋር አብሬ ሳሳልፍ ማለት ነው ከባህር ዳር ከአምቦ ከጅማ ከተለያዩ ብዙ ክፍለ ሀገሮች የመጡ ተማሪዎች አብረው ሲማሩ የነሱም ማንነት በኔ ማንነት ላይ አንድ ላይ ይሄዳል ስለዚህ እዚህ ጋር ደግሞ እንደገና ይሄ ጥያቄ ይመጣል ማን ከዚህ ነው ስለዚህ እዚህ ጋር ደግሞ ሁለተኛው ደረጃ በየማስቡ ማለት ነው ስለዚህ አቤል ማን ነው ሲባል ሁለት አቤሎች ለመለየት ነው አሁን እዚህ ጋር መተካበት ስለዚህ አቤል ከቆለይ ወይስ አቤል ከባሌ ሁለቱን ለመለየት ብቻ ነው ሶስተኛው ደረጃ በየማስቡ በሀጎር ደረጃ ደግሞ በትሄድ እና ለምሳሌ አፍሪካ ውስጥ ሙቭ በታረግ እና ያን ስቴጅ አላለፍኩበት አሁንም ይሄ ጥያቄ ተመልሶ ይመጣል ስለዚህ ማን ነው የሚለው ነገር ሲመጣ መለያ የሚሆነው ይሄ ሰፈርክ ወይንም ከተማ የሆነው ሳይሆን ያድግና ወደ ሀገር ይሄዳል ስለዚህ አቤል ናይጄሪያ ነው ወይስ አቤል ከኒጀር ነው እነዚህ ብቻ ነው የምትጠቀምበት ማለት ነው ይሄ መጨረሻ ላይ ደግሞ ያለው የሃራተኛ ደረጃ ምለው እኔ አሁን ያለውበት ደረጃ ማለት ነው ስለዚህ በመራው ዓለም ላይ ሄደ ስትኖር አሁን እንትጠየቃለህ ይሄ ጥያቄ ሁሌ ይመጣል ማን ነህ ከየት ነው የሚለው ጥያቄ ማለት ነው እዚህ ጭቃ ያለችው ጥያቄ ግን ኮሃላ ሌላ ትርጉም ይዛ ነው የምትመጣው ስለዚህ ከዚህ አይደለም ከየት ነው ነውና 
እዚኛው ደረጃ ላይ ደግሞ ስትدرس እንትጠየቀው አሁንም ከአገርህን ወክለሳው ነው እንትጠየቀው አዝ በትልቅ ነገር ትወሰንና ካፍካን እንተብለ ወይንም ሁለት ሰው ሁለት ያማንነቶችን አቤል ካፍካኑ ወይስ አቤል ካሜካኑ ምለየው ለመለየት የምትጠቀምበት ነው ስለዚህ ይሄን ይመስላል ግን ጥያቄን ባጭሩ ለመመለስ አስብዮል አቀም ካሰኩትም በመጀመሪያዎቹ ባሉት ሁለት ደረጃዎች ላይ ተወስኖ የሚቀር ነው በየነ ማስ እሺስ ገስተሊና ቤ አሁን ደግሞ ወደ ሰላም ይሄን ሰላም ዩ ሃድ ዲፈረንት ቢጊኒ ቦርን ኢን ኮፈንበርግ ኢን ስዊድን አንድ ሊቭድ ዘር አፕ ቱ ዲ ኤጅ ኦፍ 10 ዲድ ዩ ፋይንድ ኢት ሃርድ ቱ ሪኮንሳይል ዩር ኢትዮጵያን አይዳንቲቲ ዊዝ ዩር ስዊዲሽ ቻይልድሁድ ዲድ ዩ ኢቨን ኮንሲደር ዩር አይዳንቲቲ አት ሰች ኤ ዩንግ ኤጅ anyone that would know my father there was no way i was not confused i knew where i came from from birth almost he he always instilled that in me my ethiopianness and i was also lucky because he was the founder of the ethiopian community center in gothenburg itself so from youth there was always a group of us we would have amharic lessons by my dad and also we would even learn um amharic identity songs specifically to always feel that within us. So I didn't have that problem. Sorry, my answer is much shorter than. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's all we want to win. Fasila, we don't tell them. Uh and say uh and tell my disaw at all that. Uh gin the redo on the top. The redo yet how work about on the Ethiopia. Balum saum but I'm yet how work on. And says uh so that men submit in a better. Salaman yet. መጀመሪያ በጣም አመሰግናለሁ ስለ ጋብረስከኝ ባይገባኝም ይሄውን ኢትዮጵያዊ ማለት አባታ አግናቶች ትልቅ ነገር ያረጉ ሰው ፍት ቁጭ ብዬ ለምናገር ስለአበካኝ ጓደኛ ስለሆን ግን ነው አመሰግናለሁ ለተኛ ለጥያቄ ከያ ድሬዶ ያለው ምን ታካሽዋ ላይ ኳስ እንጫታለን ዲቢ ዲቢ እንጫታለን ወደ ቤት እንገባለን በላለ አደገም ማለት ነው ለምን ነገር የለው ሳይበጣ ፋሲል አደረገኛ ሰው እንደሆነ እና ትንሽ ወደ ታች አደረገው ግን በኋላ ታየ አሁን ደሞ ወደ አዲ አዲ ዩአር ቦርን ኢን ላንድ ቦርን ኢን ብራድ ኢን ዘ ዩኬ ሲሚላር ቱ ሰላም ዩ ሃቭ ቱ ዩ ሃቭ ኢ ዱአሊቲ ኢን ዩር አይዳንቲቲ ዲድ ዩ ስትራገል ዊዝ ዘ ኳስቲዮን ኦፍ አይዳንቲቲ ግሮዊንግ አፕ ኢን ዘ ዩኬ ሃው ዱ ዩ ኢኩዌት ዲስ ቱ ፓርትስ ኦፍ ዩር አይዳንቲቲ Um, well, thank you for inviting me as well. I'm really happy to be here. Um, so similar, I think, touching upon what Abel and Salam said, um, having a dual identity is a given when you're Ethiopian-British. So I was born in London, but I'm still Ethiopian. And similar to Salam, my dad instilled a lot of that into me from a very, very young age. I love the music, the language, the culture, the people. But I think it's more of a thing, so touching upon what you talked about blackness, it's only exposed to you when you're... experiencing the other so like if i was in Ethiopia no one's going to ask me are you black you, what where are you from what language do you speak da, 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 da. again when we're here because the obvious other is white british english it's are you black are you african are you arab are you chinese like people are very confused and so that's when you're experiencing that that's when it becomes okay who am i what is my identity and obviously i clearly believe i'm Ethiopian and i'm african again sometimes it's difficult because when people place these assumptions of you then you start to question your own identity even other abashas if i'm not wearing my mascara my mascara has become my identity my my id badge because if i'm not wearing a mascara people don't always see, assume i'm abasha or ethiopian so unless it's it's only when you experience the others assumption of your identity that you sort of understand who you are as yourself as well so if that makes sense i guess that's the struggle no that's that's good um so there we discussed uh, how we form our identity and from our four panelists you could see the difference in how they have formed their identity at a younger age now we want to go towards what your identity means to you uh, and we're going to start with salam um 
Salam, we know each other from church. Uh, you are a regular attendee of your Orthodox Church. Uh, what does your church mean to your Ethiopian identity? Mm, I don't see the church as a separate part of me. It's integral to who I am. And maybe growing up in Sweden, there weren't any Ethiopian people when I was born. When I was getting baptized, there wasn't even a church. So in that sense, I, I didn't have that advantage growing up. But growing up afterwards, it was a, a choice within myself. Yeah, like my great granddad. Them. So I made, I made, um, I chose myself to research and find out things like Ethiopia is the only church that's got 45 references in the Bible and it dates back 16 centuries. So I thought not to say anything about people who are not Orthodox, but it's common sense for me to become Orthodox. All those values and cultural. Well, the cultural values have come from being an Ethiopian Orthodox, so I can't separate it. It's within me. Thank you. I want to move on to the end of the slide. The end of the slide is the end of the slide. ሰላ <laughs> I think in the Nagaku, he aratinga deraja la yalkulai, liquor is meta, and we set semalena, Africa we mohone, and now Zab Botala in Orasin again, you see Kazabuhala and the Zibzu film of Chennai to end the Z Zigitosh Lahejo in Saturn, a Duluna Perry, and the Yaman Saturn. በኛ <laughs> I got them in a barrel and a sort of blue in a barrel. That's what the film is about. It's not a film. It's not a film. It's not a የሚጋብዘን <laughs> Africa, we are blend of little children that are children exclude our gun. While it's not, Yanaka will take in a burden. And I'm the non desire. I net Amelica gets yelling, uh, be a son of a slazy lesson of Zanaga like more Mesafa Fifella cutting yellow chum, uh, Bahalamo, Kerichin, art watch film watch the more malato. Uh, Kazarafa, Bizuzi, the one that's here to be just like, uh, yes, an exhibition and behold, music comes again just behold. Um, hey, this is the same as and now, I'm 
uh, you are a blogger on identity. Uh, you have a blog called uh, Daughter of the Horn, in which one of your articles was you are not really black, uh, as in it was a philosophical question. How does your identity play in a, a, a role in your writing? And tell us a little bit about the, the article. Um, okay, so yeah, my blog is called Daughter of the Horn. And like I said, because I was born in London, I didn't have that much of like a frequent relationship with the back home utopia. So at a very young age, maybe 16, I wanted to express my identity, but I didn't know how. I wasn't established, I didn't have the connections. So I thought, let me write something on the internet. I took photos, I think my first post was, um, I took photos of the Mesca and, and Dara. So I just put it out there, people learned a lot from it. People were like, oh, I didn't know about Utopia, where is it, are you Utopian? And I enjoyed it because I was teaching other people, but also learning more about myself. And so one time I just thought, let me start a discussion. So I titled it, you're not really black, because it's something I feel a lot of um, Abishas have like, experienced. So I can be with my black African friends and then they'll say, okay, Adi, you're African, but you're not really black. And I'm like, well, what's blackness then? What's blackness to you is it different to what blackness is to me? So I didn't, like, I didn't write the post to un uncover like, the biological reason, like, am I scientifically black? It was more just a prompt to a discussion. What is blackness to who, to me, to you? And um, again, a lot of reception started a lot of discussion. And it was the idea of the, like, the ideal image of blackness. I have fair skin, I have very soft hair. But I'm still Ethiopian, I'm still African, and I still see myself as a black person. So in terms of identity, I use my blog to start discussions first and foremost, but then also just to encourage others to think more deeply about their own identity. Um, and yeah, and I recently went to Ethiopia this year, so I took a lot of photos and wrote a lot about what I saw in Ethiopia. Um, so that's also how I express my own identity. And that's really interesting, thank you. Um, ፋሲል <laughs> እኛ አሁን ኢትዮጵያውያን በሩጫ ነው የምንታወቀው አንዳንዶች አሁን እየመጡ ነው ልክ እንደ ዘላለም ጌዲዮን ኳስ ተጫዋቾች አሁን ወረፊት ምን ይመስላል የኢትዮጵያዊዎች በኳስ ይታያሉ ልክ እንደ ሩጫ እንዳልከው ያው ልክ ነው ድሬዳ በኳስ ብዙ ጎስ ተጫዋቾች ወጥቷል እና ይሄ ታሪክ የሚመሰክረው በኢትዮጵያ ላይ ማለት ነው አይደለም እንዴ እና ያ ሱን እንዳልከው እዛ ተጫዋች ጀርመን መጥቼ ሞከርኩኝ አልተሳካም ተጫዋች ለሞኒ ኢትዮጵያ ላይ ነገር ግን ምክንያቱም እንደነው መሰለ ኢትዮጵያ በጣም ጎበዝ ነው ኳስ መጫወት ማለት ነው ኳሷን ያው መከናታት ተውቃለቃሉ መከናታት አስማን ግን ነገር ግን ጻን ይያለ ማንም አላስተማረንም ይሄ ታክቲክ የሚለውን ነገር ገባ እሱ አይ ቲንክ ትንሽ አመታት ይፈጃል እንጂ የዛሬ 15 አመት የኢትዮጵያ ኳስ ያው እዚጋብራ ሀገራችንን ሰላም ያርግለት ትልቅ ደረጃ እንደምትደርስ እንደሩጫ ወርቀኛ ወኛ ነገር አለ በጣም ጥሩ አይሽ አሁን We're going to move towards the last part of this chat show, which is to link identity and aspirations. Um, we're going to start with Adi again now. Uh, so you study at the School of Oriental and African uh, Studies, a well-known university. Um, you study development studies and history. Um, you visited, as you've mentioned uh, already, Ethiopia, uh, and you've uh, been to quite a a lot of historical places. Um, how do you link what you're studying, your blogging, to your future aspirations in terms of your connection with Ethiopia? Um, okay, so, yes, yeah, SOAS is known for having extensive research and um, resources and literature related to Africa, but especially Ethiopia. And I see this like very easily, just say I have a deadline or an assignment to write for a development course. I naturally gravitate towards doing a case study on Ethiopia or Eritrea or Horn of Africa or Somalia, which is it's a natural decision that I make, but 
subliminally it's also because I want to have a career in that field as well. I naturally, if there's a lecture talking about development, I think in my head, okay, I went to self-care this summer, what did I see, how can I link it to this, how can I improve it in the future if I work in migration or conflict resolution or whatever it may be. So I think it's very clear to see that even without realising, I do link my current studies, also my future aspirations to self -care. Um, just because I have such a keen interest and like love for the, the its progression. Yes, um, I wonder more. Uh, let's uh, move to Fasil. Fasil, I wonder. Can you give me the European sport in the Federation of Europe? Tell me the youth and culture officer. Now in August, you know, I'll see you at Stuttgart. Eleven religious lemakers submit and what is a mesrat? For lack of time, what is it? Oh, like in the American League, Europe, sport in the ball federation, all lemata okut bezium de tauku. Asra sabata na thono kada mesrat. Dalam kemesra tu itu presiden Tono Zuamat yang gelak gelak kamera itu kenyang atau yang lain sahaja. Nah, ahun salah satu sebutan itu kita luka Europe Hungary. Salah satu itu pihak yang bukan itu. Zaust juga zai. Hidup di sana tetapi pada awal semasa dalam momen dan nasu cila tak boleh nampak oleh josh lain. Oleh josh matau terlepas itu si cawat itu ada dalu yang ada dalu. Saya tu, way betul bocah cuit tengkar raku, tengah tu saya mata luma. Kalau ni dah mui, awak kalau lagi kalah kalah. Negeri kita ni nasun yang sabe, sana tu cukup asyik dalam mui atau dalam mui cilu. Sabtu tu benda cawat aja. Tengah ni sah sih hidu, tengah tu betul mui orang tu nasun. Karena mui masuk ke itu perlu josh kalau itu perlu cawu kubilau nasun orang tu. Karena amat tu skim ada terus, betul amik gua gua lo. Jadi kita cukup lama tak mula tu. Yang negeri kita cuma dia ada itu perlu nasun orang tu. Indi aku pun demo, matau, tajau tu, dah sebulan cuma dia tu, sel, macam ni yang lepas tu pasal nampar, sulai dalam sekat tu, lori fit demo itu pergi berapa nasi tanya nak lo, amat sekena lo. That is definitely a worthwhile aspiration. So moving to Salam, Salam, you're an architecture student at Brighton University. Architecture is one of the hardest uh, things to study at university because it takes seven years to study, which includes uh, industrial placement, which I think you're doing right now. Okay. <laughs> so um, you visited uh, Ethiopia in 2008 for the first time, uh, and you visited your family homeland, which is in Weldia, in the Wello region. So, with your architecture knowledge, what do you think you could bring to Ethiopia in the future, even if it is to Weldia, uh, in terms of the landscape and improving that? Can I just answer how, how I found it before? So, uh, I went at the age of 17, so before I decided what I was going to study, and seeing Lali Bella for the first time, that was what confirmed what I have studied is architecture. I've never seen anything like that, even even my, even till this date, there's no real explanation how it was even built. How did they dig it out of the ground? How did they create those inscriptions on the wall? There's, there's no way now to do it without heavy machinery. So the way that they explain it now is during the day the men were working on it, during the night, angels. That has to be the only explanation. <laughs> Scientifically, there's no other explanation, so it has to be. So, having seen that, absolutely, I want to go back to my where my family's from. Well, not only Waldia, but I want to help people there by building schools for the people. I have to, you know, make that point. Uh, not only building houses and schools, which anyone can do, but to create uh, skills so that these can be built by the people for the people not by Chinese people. <laughs> so, so, that, that is my number one goal. There's nothing else I want to do more than that. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, 
అవన్నీ రమ్మో అవేళ చూపిస్తున్నాం అవేళ ఆన్సర్ గా చెప్పండి నేను అవన్నీ లెన్ చూపిస్తున్నాం అవే లాంచర్ ఉప్సాల హెడ్ స్వీటన్ ఉప్సాల ఉప్సాల యూనివర్సిటీ యథావక యూనివర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ స్వీటన్ జా మాస్టర్ సేన్ సర్రాస్ స్కాలర్షిప్ హెడ్ కో సురాసు కపాత్ నగర్ మాస్టర్ సరాటమో జీలాండ్ ఇంటర్న్షిప్ సరిచ్యూమన్ రైట్స్ వాచ్ కావు రాసు యాడి యూనివర్సిటీ సోస్ హులతన్యా మాస్టర్ సోనియసరాను సరజీ తమిళ్ తోట్టాగ్రాచన్ అబాతాచోచన్ అన్నాచాచన్ బెచమర్ చూ ాంగ్ ఫిల్లాకోచ్చి identity i hope it has been interesting to our audience but even more i hope it has made you think about your identity uh, how it is formed what it means to you uh, its links to your aspirations so as i said before 150 years ago one of ethiopia's most famous son prince alamayo made the same arduous journey that many have made here in the audience the journey from the green yellow red of ethiopia to the blue white and red of the uk this journey has had many different results for the hundreds of thousands of ethiopians who have made it since the young prince it was not a happy ending for him but i hope that it will be for this generation magdala so please give a round of applause to my guests and the guests